Hello everyone. Um, I hope you are doing great. Uh, this is the first video and the first lesson, and uh, I'm going to teach you Turkish alphabet. Uh, in this video, I have chosen uh, examples uh, that you can um, realize that they are not originally Turkish, but it's used in Turkish language. And uh, we have the similar word in English or Arabic or French. Uh, so these vocabularies are very common in Turkish language. But to learn the meaning much more easily, uh, I've chosen those kinds of words. I hope you'll enjoy. Uh, at first, I'm going to uh, tell the name of the alphabet, the sound, and an example, and then the meaning. Okay, let's start. A. A. Allah. Allah. It means God. B. B. For example, Baba. Baba. It means Father. J. J. The letter C in Latin is uh, called J and it is Red j wherever it comes it is j jacket jacket which means jacket chair chair ch for example chai Chai, which means tea. De, d. For example, dil, dil, which means language. E, e, a, e. It has two sounds and there's no rule for it. In some places it is pronounced E, some places it's pronounced A. You will learn it. Okay. For example, ekmek. Ekmek. It means bread. Fe. Festival, which means festival. G, G, for example, guarantee, guarantee, which means guarantee or warranty. Yumusha. Yeah. which means softer g and it is pronounced like the letter r in french and uh, we have it in arabic as well the pronunciation of g but it is pronounced a bit softer than that uh, which you do not um, Feel the tickle of the air at the glottal part of your mouth. So it is not really r, not that uh, hard, but a bit softer. It's pronounced r, r. Something like very in the air. It, it doesn't tickle uh, the top of your mouth. So here we have an example. Yort. 
yoghurt which means yogurt he he h for example hata hata which means mistake uh uh for example urak urak which means iraq the country e e for example islam Islam, which means Islam. J, J, for example, Japan, Japan, which means Japan. K, K, for example, Karate. Karate, which means karate. Le, le, le. Lux, lux, which means luxury. Me, m. For example, motorcyclet. Motorcyclet, which means motorcycle. Ne, n. For example, ne, which means what? O. On, on, which means number ten. Uh, uh. But you have this pronunciation in um, French language or some other languages that um, I might not be familiar, but the sound uh is a kind of sound which some people may have a um, problem in pronouncing it. It is something between uh, the sound O and uh, the sound E. So when you mix E and O together, the result is E. Okay, when you pronounce these two letters, you try to create something between A and O, it is becoming E. For example, EN. EN. It means front. P. Popular, popular, which means popular. Re, re, r, rahat, rahat, which means comfortable. Se, s. For example, system, system, which means system. She, she, sh. For example, shaker, shaker, which means sugar. Te. T. 
test, which means test. U, U, Un, Un, which means flower. U, U. Okay, pronouncing this um, sound may um, maybe difficult for uh, some people, might be new for your brain. Uh, when you mix the sound E and U, the result becomes U. We have it in French, uh, but for those who are not familiar with this sound, if you uh, just uh, try to uh, mix E and U together, uh, the result will be U. For example, uch, uch, which means number three. V, v. For example, valis, valis, which means luggage. When pronouncing um, V in um, Turkish, um, you must pay attention that your upper teeth should touch your lower lip. So it's not pronounced like W and it's not pronounced like F. Because in some countries, uh, it's difficult for some people to pronounce V. Uh, just make sure that your upper lip, um, sorry, upper teeth touches your lower uh, lip and it tickles a little bit. So we have V. Yeah. Yeah. Better to say yeah. 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 Yok. Yok. It means there isn't. Z. 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 Zaman. Zaman. Which means time. Okay. Guys, uh, here uh, we had the Turkish alphabet and the examples. Um, if you have noticed, uh, I have chosen the some the mutual words that um, Turkish people have got from other uh, languages. So it will be um, similar or familiar to you. Uh, to uh, keep the meaning in um, mind and to make it easier for you. Like zaman is not a Turkish word, it is an Arabic word. Sistam, it's not a Turkish word, it's English. Well, walis is French. So, um, because this video is going to be uh, worldwide, I hope. Uh, so I try to do such a thing for you. If you like the video, uh, it will be really helpful for me. Uh, if I have uh, come to the point to teach something, if this video is uh, helpful for you, please uh, like the video and uh, also subscribe so you will get other videos as well um thank you very much good luck